Come Back to Earth Esther, Words and Art by José Bissayon, published by Nimbus Publishing, Halifax. <music> Esther is an ordinary girl. Like many other children, she enjoys playing dodgeball, jumping rope, and daydreaming in math class. She likes animals and nature. And she's passionate about chocolate spread. But what Esther loves the most, what she dreams about every night, is space. Space with its magnificent stars, asteroids, comets, satellites, and even its black holes. Esther likes it when people tell her she has her head in the clouds. It makes her think about the immensity of the sky. And her biggest wish, to travel on a spaceship. Visit the Milky Way, discover constellations, and of course, walk on the moon. Esther likes to recreate the solar system on her plate at dinner. Come back to Earth, Esther, her parents always say. Your dinner's getting cold. At the dinner table, at school, at the window, and in bed. Esther spends hours thinking about the cosmos. and the beauty of the sky. She does not understand why she should have to concentrate instead of daydreaming. She thinks she can do both very well. Every now and then, Esther reads upside down. It makes her feel like she's in a spaceship. While reading her big book about planets for the hundredth time, she wonders, could there be a girl on Mars reading a book about Earth? The ocean is the perfect place to simulate the effect of weightlessness. When Esther goes to the beach, she floats underwater and imagines herself free, orbiting Earth. The rays of light passing through the surface are shooting stars. Occasionally, she sees a small fish and wonders if, one day, she will meet aliens. In the evening, Esther's bed becomes a spaceship, setting off to discover distant galaxies. The northern lights are spectacular and the cascading stars are magnificent. The Earth looks so small, seen from above. Esther invents worlds populated by extraterrestrial creatures, colorful galaxies, a confetti of shooting stars and lush planets. But above all, she dreams of one thing, to invent a vehicle that will take her into space. It's time to get to work. For several days, Esther searches for materials to build her spacecraft. She looks in the recycling bin picks up old broken toys, walks the forest nearby. She is very relieved when her parents help her find the tools she needs. Today, Esther's room is transformed into a space center. Ready to welcome the new spaceship. She nails, she glues, she measures, she cuts, assembles, and adjusts. 
she reflects and she tests. And she has a snack break. All this work makes her hungry. She gets back to work, recuts and readjusts. She sands a little bit. And then she paints. All that's missing now is something special to wear in space. Esther gathers a few scraps of fabric, buttons, thread, and lots of patience. And voila! She crafts the most amazing spacesuit. After many tests, the spacecraft is finally ready to launch. But takeoff will have to wait until tomorrow. The next morning, with the help of her parents, Esther prepares the backyard for her big liftoff. A platform near the maple tree awaits the spaceship and its crew. Esther's space trip will finally happen tonight! As the sun sets, everyone gathers to watch the launch of Esther's special spacecraft. The crew boards the vessel and the countdown is on. Three, two, one, lift off! The spaceship takes off high in the sky, leaving behind a dusty cloud as it reaches for the stars. It's even more beautiful than Esther had imagined.